Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of the series Customer's Journey to Rise with SAP on AWS with MIGNOW. My name is Soumya Shekhar Das. I'm a, I'm a partner solutions architect with Amazon Web Services specializing on SAP workloads. In the studio, I have Guilherme with me from MIGNOW. Guilherme, please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Guilherme, Guilherme Joventino. I am the COO and one of the co-founders of MIGNOW. So, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for being here, Guilherme. So, uh, in the first video of the series, uh, you have learned uh, the SAP and AWS collaborations and the conjunction that we have for uh, more than 16 plus years. So, if you look at uh, all SAP SaaS offerings, that includes Rise with SAP, uh, SAP S4 HANA Cloud, SAP BTP services, business technology platform services like SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP HANA Cloud, SAP Concur, SAP Qualtrics, whatnot, all are available and powered by AWS. Now, uh, we also talked about the reliability, performance, security, sustainability, all the important foundational pillars that you need to run your mission critical SAP workloads on AWS. In the very first video, uh, Guilherme also talked about in, and introduced MIGNOW's smart conversion tool and uh, how that accelerates and expedites customers' migration, customers' move from SAP ECC on-premises to rise with SAP on AWS. Uh, Guilherme, uh, to refresh our viewers' mind, right? would you like to introduce one more time just to let them know that what is a smart conversion tool is and how that performs? Sure. So basically, MIGNOW is a tool to keep SAP updated. So our target is to always keep the customer updated on the latest version of SAP. Moving, for example, from ECC to S4 and from the customers that are running S4 already to upgrade for the newest version of S4. This is why we need MIGNOW. Perfect. So uh, let me just dive deep a little bit more on uh, the functionalities, the core functionalities that uh, Smart Conversion and MIGNOW provides to our customers and why customers will choose it, right? So very first of all, uh, in the first video, you also mentioned that it accelerates the migration, right? Yes. So that means uh, I assume the project duration decreases with this move. Uh, can you please touch base on that? Yeah, on the previous video, I explained, for example, one I, I gave one case where we had a huge automation uh, reduction, uh, reduction on automation for the custom code. Right. That specific project we executed in only three and a half months. So the end to end, from the kickoff of the project until the go live, we executed in three months and a half. So, and you may, you remember, I mentioned on a traditional way, the same project, just the custom code should take 18 months. So we are talking about here, two years of a project against three and a half months of a project. So almost six times reduction that we are seeing here, yeah. correct? So as we are reducing the overall project duration, I believe there is a lot of cost savings for our customers, correct? Yes. Uh, can you please throw some light there too? Yeah, so as we can reduce, imagine that uh, for the 30,000 hours, okay? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we expand for, uh, on the rate of 100, 100 whatever, mm -hmm. this will lead in three, Million. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. With me now, 140 custom code lead us in something about 200k. So yeah. only on the custom code, we save it 2.8 million. And this is just an customer. example. This is just this one example. It is just an example. Yeah. 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 All right. So, so we are saving the overall project costs as well as the timeline is decreased with the inclusion of smart conversion tool in that project. Yes. Correct? Okay. And uh, I also remember you mentioned that uh, the user testing and functional testing is also part of that. Can you please uh, confirm on that? Yes. What you so Mignal, as I mentioned, uh, we cover end to end and to deliver the project mm. on the final deploy completely we need to perform the unit tests we need to to 
to do the workshop for the new functionalities, we need to help on the user acceptance test. Otherwise, right. we cannot go live. Right, right. So when we are providing all these, right, like we are decreasing the project and we are project timeline costs mm -hmm. and also providing some uh, testing functionalities, I would also would like to know, super curious to know that, that the so far we did the conversion and upgrade into in the traditional manner, right? The traditional approach that uh, SAP provides us. Now with the smart conversion tool, uh, you know how it changed. What is the difference? Significant difference between these two? Okay, basically there is no difference between how we execute on a traditional way, manual way, through the MIGI now. The okay. difference is instead to have a person, instead to have a consultant doing the the daily jobs, the daily tasks. We have a software executing that. Okay. We can, for example, instead of work eight, nine hours, we have a software, so we can re run twenty four per seven, and uh, and much more than that. So we basically we don't have rework because it's a software. We don't need to rely on the level of the seniority of the consultant and okay. so on. So even the repetitive tasks, the redundant tasks are also getting reduced when we are using the, the smart conversion tool. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have additional question leaning towards that. So I know and I've seen so many different other tools are also available in market for uh, S4 conversion and so on. So can you please give me one or two differentiators that basically differentiates smart conversion with those market available tools? Sure. We have two blocks of uh, tools in the market. The ones that just cover the custom code. So this kind of tool will cover only the custom code. Right. Will not cover the project end to end. And we have some others that uh, you used to say that they do the conversion. The problem is they do not execute the custom code. Right. They do but how they work with the conversion. For example, they need to move ACC to S4. So they install an S4 from the scratch and then load data from ECC to S4. In fact, the final result is the same, but this is not a conversion. This is a greenfield, new implementation with load of data. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are the only one able to perform this step executing the software update manager from SAP. Mm. So we are the only software that really execute the conversion. And more than that, as we are the only one able to execute the software update manager, we are the only software available that can upgrade and keep the customer updated from, e from S4 to S4 as well. All right. That's great. Uh, I just have a final question for you. Uh, as you talked about the availability, I also would like to know, right, how customers will reach out to you, where they will get this software and how they will get started with MIGNOW on AWS? Okay, so they can contact us, they can contact AWS, uh, they can uh, search for, uh, on an SAP store, so we are available on SAP Marketplace and soon we will be uh, available on a uh, AWS Marketplace as well. We are certified by SAP, so and 100% compliance with RISE uh, for SAP. That's great news for our customers. Uh, thank you all for watching this video and learn about the foundational components and how we power uh, the SAP uh, SaaS offerings and how we, uh, MIGNOW is helping our customers to accelerate their migrations to rise with SAP on AWS. Thank you for watching and thank you, Guilherme, uh, for being here once again. Thank you so much. See you guys. Thank you.